Okay, so I'm going to do a little quick overview of Gale Kids InfoBits. This I'm going in through the website, the library website. If you go to the library, uh, Matherville's website, and then About Us, you can go to the library, and then Online Resources is how I got to this page. I'm also going to be sharing in your classroom, though, the just the list of electronic resources with their passwords. So I can share that in Google Classroom, and you can also use that as a more direct way to go in. But if you go into the website, that's how you get there. So Gale Kids Info Bits. You can add your password to that other thing if that comes up for you too. Um, you can just always do a search here if you know what topic you're looking for. So if your teacher gave you a specific topic that you're looking for, you can do that there. If your teacher said, I want you to do a music report, you can click on music and movies and then go from there and then see what kinds of categories are there. So if you needed to do a report on the saxophone, you could click there and then there's articles from books there. There's a biography about John Coltrane, pictures of people playing the saxophone, magazine articles, news. So that gives you that breakdown. And up here it also tells you that content type. If though you say, mm, I'm just, I want to go back to music and movies in general because maybe I picked the wrong thing, you can always use these breadcrumbs up here at the top to go back a step or two. Okay, and then that gives you a lot more topics. So especially if maybe you wanted to learn more information about an actor or a musician, that would be more on this list. So if I click on this, I'm going to get information about the actor Daniel Radcliffe. Again, you can see the types of results I'm getting over here. So if I go into this biography of Daniel Radcliffe, then you can do a couple things. One, there's this listen button here, so you can click listen and that will read it to you. And it will highlight it as it goes, so you can do that. Um, you can also send it to your Google Drive right here. So if you are doing some research and you find an article you really like, go ahead and send it to your Google Drive. If you are reading it on the site, and so maybe you think this is an interesting sentence, when you click on it like this, you can that highlight will come up, so you can click highlight, and then you can add a note. Now, when you do that, you need to come up here after you've read the whole article, see on the side where it says highlights and notes, then you can, once you've read through the whole article and taken all the done all the highlights and notes you want, but you have to do this before you get out of Gale Kids Info Bits or if you use another Gale product. Click on that, it'll show it to you, you can view all, and then you send that to your drive. That way you've saved it and you have all your notes for later and you have that whole document, but just make sure you do it before you leave. Over here, we also have advanced search. So if you, this is more of, if you're getting a result that you don't exactly want and you need to add more information to that search to get something specific, you can, or if you need something from after a certain date, then you can definitely do that too here and you can play around with those advanced search till, till you get the thing that you're looking for. Okay, so if you need to go back again, just go to that Gale Kids Info Bits at the top and that'll take you to that first page. So maybe you wanna look at the science or the social studies tab, we'll do that. And we just had a primary so maybe you're interested in government or politics or something like that. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you one thing. If you click on somebody and then you find an article you might be interested in, there's also on the side this citation tool. And that will tell you how to tell us where you got the information. So your teacher might want that as well. And you can also download that to Google Drive. 